So I've always liked experimenting with um, my training and things related to my training. So my newest experiment, uh, well, I've been doing this bodybuilding stuff with the high intensity training, also as blood and gut style training recently, but now um, I'm just to keep doing that for a little, little bit longer. I'm going to start transitioning back into um, Wisconsin method type of training. But this thing I want to experiment with a little bit, it's a little more like recovery based and kind of like a supplement to my training. Um, is I want to start trying the Wim Hof method. It's I'm very skeptical of this. Um, so I'll go into it a little bit as I go. Um, so Wim Hof, uh, those of you don't know, he's known as the Ice Man. He is very famously uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro just wearing nothing but shorts. He's barefoot and everything. Uh, he almost summited uh, summited Everest in just shorts, but he had a foot issue or something, like broke his foot or something. Um, but yeah, so his. His methods are mostly stolen from like Buddhist monks and stuff like that. Uh, but his big thing is like dealing with cold water and cold weather and stuff. So basically, I just want to mess around with it. I already take cold showers every day. Every day, I start my day with a cold shower just because I like to start my day with something I absolutely hate. And I hate taking cold showers. So uh, there you go. The rest of the day seems better then. So I already do that. But a lot of, there's a lot of like breathing techniques he employs, like hyperventilating, um, practicing holding your breath stuff like that, breathing in certain situations. Um, so there's like an app for his, which I've, I've looked at. Most of the stuff I've gotten from reading, uh, bought his book, uh, read through that, watched some seminars he's put on. Um, yeah. So basically every day I'm just trying to do a little bit of the Wim Hof method, basically. You can, I'll put some links in the bottom here so you can look at it if you want. Um, but yeah, some of the other stuff, he, I should say, some of the other stuff he's done. Um, let's see, got it down here, I don't remember. So he sat in, immersed in ice for an hour and 13 minutes, which is fucking nuts, uh, without his body temperature changing. So through his methods, he claims he's able to regulate his body temperature and um, his basically, um, it'll regulate his nervous system and his immune system to, yeah. Uh, he's been shown to be able to increase his heart rate and adrenaline levels and his blood alkalinity at will, which is really interesting, I think. it's. Um, there's a lot of potential uses if any of this is real for t treating a bunch of like conditions like MS, um, diabetes, arthritis, stuff like that, autoimmune disorders basically. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, and that's it. So I was uh, kind of keeping you updated what I'm kind of doing outside the gym, I guess. You know, this is kind of gym related. Uh, so I'm trying to spend. Uh, about 20 minutes at least every day doing these breathing exercises and some of the other special exercises and stretching that he recommends and I'll keep you updated after I do it for a while we'll see what happens um, like I said I'm very skeptical uh, if stuff sounds too good to be true it usually is especially in the training and fitness world if there's a shortcut it's bullshit so we'll see we'll see what happens um, yeah thanks for, following, thanks for following along guys love y'all